How much power can a set of aftermarket small block cylinder heads add? And what's the performance difference between an aftermarket header versus a factory exhaust manifold? And how much power is an aftermarket intake really worth? Hey, it's Justin here, and today we're out of the studio and into the laboratory. Well, actually, we're down here in the dyno area at TrickFlow Specialties, where we're gonna be doing some cool stuff, finding the answers with a 400 cubic inch small Chevy long block. But first, make sure to like and subscribe to that Summit Racing YouTube channel so you don't miss out on anything like this or any of our other cool videos. All right, before we get started, let's have a look at our test mule. Our 400 cubic inch long block features a new cast iron block with four bolt mains and a one piece rear main seal. It includes a complete forged rotating assembly, including a new three and three quarter inch forged crank, a 5.7 inch I-beam connecting rods and forged pistons. The valve train is anchored by a 555 inch lift camshaft. And when finished here, this blueprint engine and trick flow heads will be going in one sweetheart of a 67 Corvette. Now, the original engine in this Corvette had seen some better days, so we're repowering it with a 400 cubic inch small block Chevy to help this thing get down the road. And that brings us to the cylinder heads that we'll be using and testing here today. We'll be adding a set of TrickFlow DHC 200 cylinder heads, which feature that classic double hump Chevy design that we wanted for this vintage vet. In this case, TrickFlow has added something a little extra for the performance minded crowd. They're a fully ported CNC 200cc runner up for power production. The key to unlocking that performance, a better breathing intake and exhaust manifolds. So first we'll test the power output with the factory L79 intake and carb first. Then we'll be adding an aftermarket Edelbrock air gap intake and a TrickFlow 750 carb. We'll also take a look at the effects of running long tube headers versus the factory ram horns. So that's enough talking for now. Let's get over in the dyno cell and see what this thing makes. So we're starting off our testing in stock trim with stock ram horn exhaust manifolds, a stock intake manifold, and the stock carburetor. Then we're gonna be progressing with some speed parts like long tube headers, a performance intake, and a carburetor as well to see what kind of power this thing can truly make. So after our first pull, this thing made 428 horsepower and 440 foot-pounds of torque. Now it's time to open this thing up and let it breathe. So the trick flow guys are gonna get some more speed parts bolted on this thing, and then we're gonna do a couple more runs to see what it can make. So we're gonna run this thing with just long tube headers, still the factory carburetor and factory intake to see what it makes. I'm very curious what the improvement's gonna be with just the headers before we take this thing to the next level and put a high performance manifold and carburetor on it. So for test two, this thing made 473 horsepower and 478 foot-pounds of torque. It's wild how much the long tube headers uncorked this thing and how restrictive the factory ram horn manifolds really are. So for test number three, it's time for that max effort tune to see how much power this thing can actually make. So it got an RPM air gap intake accompanied by a 750 CFM carburetor from TrickFlow that they've already calibrated. And the set of inch and three quarter headers from the last test should let this thing breathe and exhale to make the most power it possibly can. So let's get this dyno around on the way and see what kind of power it actually makes. So 
The results are in and this thing made a whopping 510 horsepower and 502 foot pounds of torque. You can see all the improvement on this graph here. The black line dictates the factory ram horn exhaust manifolds, the factory intake and carburetor, followed by our red lines, which we just put a set of long tubes on this thing and let it breathe a little better on the back end. And then our blue lines are our max effort. So that's intake, carburetor, and long tube headers. And you can see the huge power improvement and the capabilities of this engine. And there you have it. The results are in, and we gotta say, we're loving the performance of these TrickFlow DHC 200 heads, and can't wait to see this engine under the hood of this 67 Corvette. We wanna thank the guys down at TrickFlow again for letting us come down and hang out with them and use their dyno facilities. So until next time, I'm Justin with Summit Racing, and what are you working on?